Today we'll be creating this animation with geometry nodes. Don't worry if you haven't used geo nodes yet because this one will be pretty quick and simple. All right, let's get started. Okay, so here we are. I'm in Blender 2.93.2. If you want the most geometry nodes features, you should probably be using the 3.0 alpha, but this has all of the features that we need. So this is the one I'm gonna use for now. So let's just get started. First thing we're gonna need is a cube. And we're just going to duplicate that. So we have two cubes and these are the only meshes that we're going to need. This one is going to have our geometry nodes modifier on it. So I'm just going to name it geo. And this one is going to be the one that we're instancing. So I'm just going to rename that instanced like that. And I'm just going to pull a window up right here and I'm going to turn it to the geometry nodes editor right here. You just want to make sure you're selecting this one in the center and you can just hit new. And when you do that, it'll just give you the input and the output. And if you go over to your modifiers, you can see it has a geometry nodes modifier now. So I'm just going to move this further away just so it doesn't get in the way. Basically what we're going to do is create a bunch of points and each point is going to have a cube this instanced cube right here. So I'm going to hit shift A and then S to search and I'm going to bring in a point instance like this. And you can see it's going to go away immediately. And that's because the original geometry is only being used for instancing now. And if you want to see your original geometry, you can bring in a join geometry node right here. And you can just plug this one in over here like that. And I'm going to add a reroute with shift, right click and drag like that. Just make it a little easier to see. So the instanced object, we can use instanced right here. So now what is happening is it's looking at all of the vertices of our original cube and placing one of these cubes at each one. So if you want to see this a little more clearly, you can add in a point scale and just put it before your point instance. I'm going to change this to float just so it's one value. And if we turn it down, you can see a little more clearly what's happening. So at each corner, basically, we're getting one of these cubes. If you want this to be more random, you can also add in a point distribute like this. And you can control how many points there are with the density. So I'm just going to turn this down to something lower like 0.2. And if you want to change the random pattern, you can change the seed right there. If you want to rotate your cubes, you can also add in a point rotate right here and you just want it before your point instance like that and you can see we can rotate these however we want but if you wanted these to rotate separately each point to be rotated like kind of randomly you could do that you have to add in a uh, attribute randomize right here i'm just going to put this at the beginning and we need a new attribute so you can see all of the attributes that exist right now but you can type in whatever you want here so i'm just going to type in rand and it's going to create a new attribute for us like that. And then over here, we have to change rotation to attribute. And then we can plug in the one that we just created, which was called rand like that. And you can see now they are all random. They're rotated a uh, random amount between these two values right here, between zero and one. If you made both of these one, they would all have the same rotation like that. And we can do this for scale also. So I'll change this to attribute and we can just type in rand. So you can see these are all the same size now and that's because these are the same number. So we can set our maximum scale and our minimum scale. I'll set the maximum to one and the lowest one to maybe like 0.2 or something like that. If we set this to zero, we might get some that get too small like this one right here. Another thing that I wanna do is make all of these rotate around the center. So we can do that by adding in a transform node right here. And you can see if you add it after the point instance, it will rotate all of them. It'll change the location and the rotation of each of those instanced cubes. And if we put it before, it acts slightly differently. So they're all keeping their same uh, like original rotation. And they're just kind of changing their location to orbit around the center of our original cube right there. And this is the effect that I'm actually looking for. So next, what we're going to do is basically join all of the instanced cubes together and then cut that shape out of our original cube right here. 
So we can get rid of our join geometry node over here. We were just using that for viewing. So I'll just delete that with control X right there and add in a Boolean right here. And we're going to leave that set to difference. And what we're going to do is plug all of our instance stuff into geometry two. And you'll see it'll break momentarily. But once we plug our original geometry right here into geometry one, it'll start working. And you can see now it's just cutting all of the instanced shapes out of our original cube right here. And we can still edit all of these nodes. So if I rotate this, you can see we're starting to get that effect that I showed you from the beginning like that. So you can animate this pretty easily by just typing in hash and then frame like that. And you'll see it'll just be way too fast. So to slow it down, you can just divide it by whatever amount. I'm going to divide it by 100, and I think that's going to be a good speed for us. So you have to be pretty careful with this Boolean node, because if you turn up your uh, density right here for your points um, too high, you'll definitely crash this. So that's why I have mine set to something small like uh, 0 0.2. If I even set it to like 0.4, you can see my frame rates start to drop. And if you set it to something like 1, I don't even know if this will play. Yeah, really low frame rate. So definitely be careful and make sure you're saving your project. Another thing that I think is pretty cool looking is just changing this uh, instance shape right here. So I'm going to add a modifier to it over here. I'm going to add a solidify. And if you've used a solidify before, you know what this does. If you change the thickness, it's basically making it hollow. And you get to decide how thick you want the, the hull or the edge to be like that. So you can see instead of cutting out solid shapes, it's just cutting out like the outline now. And I think that is pretty neat also. And you can make it more geometric if you delete this point rotate right here. You can dissolve it with control X. Oh yeah, if you're having a hard time seeing um, all of these flat objects, you can come up to here. You're, I'm in solid mode. Um, and you can come up here and just turn on cavity. And I like to have mine set to both. And you can see it kind of uh, highlights the edges a little more. And you can see flat things quite a bit better. So you can see this is just making it a lot more geometric. Um, I don't know. I think it's a pretty cool effect. So you can get a lot of different results just by changing this instanced object right here. All you have to do now is set up a camera, add some lights, maybe a few materials, and you're good to go. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.